welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Today I'm going to talk about semantic networks and you know honestly is this something that we've been we've been working on for many years and we've understood this since 2000 and five, six, seven, because when I started doing SEO, um, Bill Salvaski was already talking about it. So this is not something new. I read patents by Google that leveraged semant the semantic network and its learning algorithm and how that worked. Um, there's an entire Wikipedia article on what a semantic network is. So it's not a new concept. It's just that, you know, for SEO, people want to repackage old concepts into and this package that into SEO somehow and you know just just make it overly complex so that they can sell 997 courses but 997 dollar courses by the way so if you have the money if you bought purchased the course for some reason and you cannot understand what semantic networks are well this video is for you before I get into the video guys I offer SEO services i also create topical maps and if you're looking for someone to do seo for you, you're looking to consult with someone there's a link in the description click the link for the form and i will get in touch with you so now that we have that out of the way let's jump right into semantic networks and one such term is semantic network now a semantic network is often used by people who are selling expensive courses because they want to take up three hours of your time talking about something that is not really relevant to you ranking a website. It's not even relevant to you making money online or offline or however you want to make money because a semantic network is used by learning algorithms and in particular if you if talk about we, we're talking about Google which is a learning algorithm and what it does is it it identifies a website or a cluster of websites that it looks at and it says this is an authoritative sources and so this is a semantic network when it's associated with your website so let's say you have a cluster of wikis and it's an authoritative source for uh, medical information and so if you have a website that's about CBD um, you're not part of that network right now and so you would need to leverage the power of that network or the, those cluster of websites that Google sees as being authoritative and you would have to leverage that to start getting Google to take your site seriously and consider your site as being also authoritative because without that you're not going to rank and so what you would need to do is you would need to take multiple steps and I mean this video is not about those multiple steps I have other videos that you can watch but just to demystify uh, semantic network over here is that once you once you create your website you would have to establish three primary relationships the first you need to do is you'd have to establish eat the second thing you would need to do is you would also have to establish and with eat I'm talking about EEAT so you have to establish EEAT that's the first step so that Google knows like why should Google trust you in the first place and so EEAT if it's a medical website that's really important or, in the, or if you're in the financial niche that's really important the second thing you'll need to do you'll need to have very authoritative content now you know there's a whole, a whole argument about how much content you need I'm not going to get into that um, but then you will also need as a third element you'll need your schema markup this is probably a, a, a significant part of building that authority maybe as significant as your authority as your content and as uh, and probably even more significant than having EEAT because a big part of your EEAT is to identify your website with Google and to tell Google that you know your website is a genuine website and you're not just pulling in traffic to sell cheap products and so once you've established that your website you now need to link your website or create what's called a relationship or a semantic relationship to those clusters of, to, to the cluster of websites that Google deems as being authoritative and once you've done that successfully you will start bringing in good traffic because Google will also start seeing you as a good source of information and that is something you have to establish over time now using a semantic network for most people who get into this is to use Wikipedia so Google sees Wikipedia as an authority for non-medical and non-financial websites. So if you're starting a website on VPNs, I think you Google looks at that as being an authoritative website. But you would have to do your research to find like what's ranking and what and you know what 
from where the information is making it into the knowledge graph. So there are three things you need to look at. Once you, once you, look at, once you start going through the SERPs, see what websites are making it into the knowledge graph, see what uh, websites are making it into the people also ask, and see what websites are in the top five of your search results. And that will give you a fairly good idea where Google is uh, drawing its information from as a, as a reference. Um, and to match your information against the source reference to see if your information is good or if it's better or if it's not as good. So that's the first thing to do is to look at SERPs, figure out you know, where Google is, is getting its information from. The second thing is to then create what's called a topical map. And this is a very important step because without content, you're not going to be able to leverage the power of the semantic network because your website has to be number one, semantically established that will be the first step and once you semantically establish your website you then need to connect your website to the already established semantic source so without content you're not going to be able to do it i have a topical mapping service that's available on my website you can buy it it's affordable it's 350 dollars you will map everything you need to cover to establish yourself as a topical authority and unlike what some people that sell expensive courses will tell you you don't have to write a thousand articles or a hundred thousand words or 500,000 words or whatever the insane number is, you need to write what people want to read and what Google wants to see. And that is something we establish, we do as part of our, our, our service. Um, when you start, when you, once you've created a website, once you've added your content, you're now going to rank for many keywords. So once you've covered a topical map, you've already started ranking for many keywords, but you still not establish yourself as an authoritative source. And to find for that, you will now need to work on your uh, EAT. And so what you need to do is you need to establish your authority. Uh, and one of the ways to do that is you connect to your social network. So if you're a doctor and your website has something to do with medicine or CBD or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, connect your website to your LinkedIn, to your Facebook, to your Twitter, where and it should be a professional network. So near LinkedIn, I always recommend because it's an official network, have a an about you on your website that talks about you. And then you have links from your website that's the about us page or the about you page to your uh, to your sh social networks where, where you, there's more information about you. And then can you go give Google some time to crawl. And there's also a schema that I'll go into later on. That's just, that will be probably in another video, but I have videos on schema that you, could, you should watch if you're trying to do this. Uh, the next thing you want to do is then you need to establish schema. Now I talked about the same as schema. I think there are a few videos back. So you go and watch the same as schema that will help you create that link between your uh, semantically relevant website and, you know, the semantically relevant website that Google sees and then over time, you will join the network, so to speak, and that will help you rank faster and, you know, more long term rankings as compared to just, you know, doing it without it. Now, uh, obviously, I've oversimplified it and there's a lot more to it, but this is how this works in, in, in a nutshell. Now, if you've been reading or if you've been watching those videos, those expensive course videos, and you have not been able to wrap your head around this, uh, my blog goes into a lot of this stuff. It makes it all very easy. My entire YouTube channel is about this. So my goal is to make this immensely simple for anyone who doesn't even have an, who doesn't even have a com have a background in computers or digital marketing. So you watch a series of videos, I'm gonna make a lot more videos. Also, there's a Q&A uh, uh, session that's gonna be on the first Friday of every uh, month. So, you know, just email me, like I put the email on the screen, just email me a question. The first 10 questions will make it to, uh, to the video. As always, guys, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.